I don't think they can hear me. Uh, I guess you can hear me. I'm sorry. I was afraid I'd cry. <laughs> and I did. I experienced my... <laughs> can you all hear me? Is that a yeah. yes? Oh, okay, that's good. Like, I was, I, I was afraid as soon as I saw it, I started seeing you guys. I would cry. So, <laughs> um, it's just touching because... <laughs> Uh, welcome. I'm, I've seen you all at different times at Phuket Cleanse and to see you all together from different times in our history is just very touching to me. So excuse the tears. Um, it's just, I'm very honored. Oh God, it's worse than I expected. <laughs> but I'm very honored to see you guys there. It's, it's, a, it's, um, it's really exciting to me. Um, and I'm, I'm honored that you would join me at this time in history with everything going on that you would choose to join us and just allow us to um, open up this this community and to you and and to be able to share whatever we can share and to learn from you and learn what you need and just all of us working together for one common goal of, of wellness so we've um we prepared a, quite a presentation for you, worked very hard on it to make sure that we could give you the best that's out there. Truly, truly been working on it for a very long time to make sure that we could share with our guests the most up-to-date and even exciting information and, and even inspiring information. And I think you're going to really enjoy the journey over the coming weeks if you, if you are able to bring some of these practices in your life. I think it's going to make an exciting time, not about healing, but about welling, about becoming well, about becoming rejuvenated, about becoming excited, about wellness. And I, that's why you all came to PC in the first place, because you wanted to be more inspired and to be on the cutting edge. And uh, we're ready for you today. So it's, it's truly an honor. Um, we put a little question in the chat box for you. Um, it's just a question that came to me. I can't necessarily see the answers. I have somebody else on the other end who's uh, reading and answering you. Tamara, many of you may know Tamara. Uh, so she's answering you. And um, this will be shared with me later. Uh, so yeah, it's a fun little question to think, you know, what could you be a master at over the next six weeks? Because we certainly have that opportunity to, to learn or become anything we want over the next six weeks. And we have all the education in the world out there. So that's just a fun little question for you all to play with in the chat room. As I try to compose my excitement and my tears of, uh, of joy that you're here. Mm. So... <laughs> yes. All righty. Um, so I'm going to have to put my glasses on here so I can control the screen. And um, I can't control the screen. So it's not working. Yeah, I'm sorry, my ma my mouse is not working, so I'm not able to change the screen. But somebody will come and help me, I'm sure. Hmm. Well, this gives you time to think more of, of a few more things. No, it's not working. It gives you. Oh. Okay. Ah, oh, left and right. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start off doing a deep cleansing breath. And this is, this is the ultimate way to heal. So I'd like if you guys would just close your eyes and take a little journey. And I'm just going to count in and I'm going to count short little breath holds and I'm going to count some little bit longer exhales. And we're going to do a few slow relaxing breaths. So I'm going to count in two, three, four, hold, one, two, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, two, three, four, 
hold. One, two. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six. Inhale. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, well, that's a great way to start and something we can put together in our everyday life over the coming weeks. So what is our purpose of, of calling you all? This is the first time we've done a, a virtual Phuket cleanse. And you know, the, the truth is that the purpose of calling you here today was, was really a long-standing desire I'd always had was to, you know, people always say, oh, do you, what do you want to do with Phuket Cleanse? Do you want to open another one, another one? Do you want to franchise uh, other ones around the world? And I was like, no, I, I don't know how to do this, but I really want a tribe. I want when our customers go home that there would be a way that they could still connect as a tribe and we could still explore the cutting edge in wellness and we could still support each other. And I, so people always say, well, how do you envision it? And I'd say, well, I don't know. It could be like a cafe or a coffee shop in each city, or it could be a gym with a meditation studio in each city around the world, or it could be a hotel with a good fitness center. But that was always the dream that we would have a chance to, to continue to work and play together as a tribe, just like we do when we're, you know, playing all day, going to Muay Thai and to yoga and then eating together at that communal table. I wanted just to let the beat go on, to keep it going and it never stops and to keep growing as a community. Well, I never thought in a million years that it would be virtual or at least it would start that way. Maybe there will be brick and mortar someday in different cities and I would love that but there's always meetup groups when we're all allowed out again. But for now, I would like to officially launch the, the virtual PC community where we can do different funky things together, whether it's informational classes like this that are relevant at the time, whether it's group breath work or meditation or life coaching or workouts. Um, the goal is for us to learn what kind of things you'd like to experience. And again, my goal is that when we're all allowed free again and not have to social distance, that we will find meetup spots where we can meet up and say on Saturday, hey, everybody's going to be at this gym and then they're going to go to hot yoga, and maybe have a juice over here. I'd love to arrange meetup groups so that tribe can continue uh, with like-minded groups. And um, that's the vision. So this is the beginning and this is a community. And so keep sharing with us how you'd like to see this community play out because it, it is gonna get fun, I'm, I'm sure of it. So today, um, I just need to go over a few, a little bit of business here to read to you. Um, there will be a video recording that will be emailed to you. The presentation uh, from today will be emailed to you. If you have a question, please type it in the chat box. Uh, we'll include your questions and answers when we send the email presentation. The reason is I have a lot of content to cover with you today. And I also wanna lead us in a meditation. So I'm not gonna be able to take questions live, but we will take the questions and send them out by email. Um, and also, you know, sometimes there'll be some products or brands that I can recommend if I've recommended a certain supplement or something. One of the questions is, well, what brand or where do you get it? And so we'll send that out to you too. So, yes. So it's interesting. Um, we have an interesting approach. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been getting all kinds of tips and advice on how to power up your immune system. And there's a lot of information out there, but one of the approaches that I want to take is to youthen your immune system. Because one thing we know at this time is that the youth or the young people or people that are early in their adulthood have a better immune system and they're in a better situation right now. And my approach, uh, based on a lot of the researchers that I've been following, 
is to to youth in us as a system, youth in us systemically, rejuvenate us um, systemically. And as we do that, we will have a more robust immune system. So that's why it's kind of exciting. It's not about healing something that's wrong, but it's about youthening and becoming uh, more rejuvenated and, and vitalized. And that's the goal. The other thing I want to talk about is doing some mild detoxification. I think that there's a beautiful ways that we can energize ourselves and detox at the same time. And this is a great time to do a little bit of detoxification, as I mentioned already, to rejuvenate you, make you younger. So today I'm going to share originally, I'm going to start, I'm going to share some science with you. And then it's going to move into a very specific protocol that will do all this, right? That will youthen you, make you younger, detox you. Um, and also just some, you know, action steps that you can take now and start feeling better right away. So at first I thought I would talk about what is immunity, because I think a lot of us have asked that question now more than ever. And really immunity is like, um, we have an army that's just waiting of these wild little cells, these different creatures, these T cells or macrophages and mast cells, all of these are really like an army that are ready to defend us from viruses or bacteria. And what's interesting is those who will do really well nowadays and have a great immune system are those who can raise an army. And the question then is, how do we raise our army? What determines whether we can raise an army. And what actually determines how much we can raise a, a badass army is how many electrons we're carrying. And this is probably something you haven't heard about, but basically we are an electron soup. We are wa a walking batteries. We're water, hopefully alkaline batteries. I know when you look at when people are selling batteries, like Duracell batteries or EverReady batteries, I don't know if those are just American brands or if they're all over, but they always advertise it's an alkaline battery. So hopefully we're all alkaline batteries. We're 70% water. We're batteries that hold electrons, that hold electricity. And I always had this dream that I could measure your immunity when you came to Phuket Cleanse, that, that I would have a little stick or a probe that I could stick into you and I could count how many electrons you were carrying. And then I could decide uh, if we needed to help you gather more electrons or if you were fine. Um, I wish I could do that now because if I could count how many electrons you're all carrying, then I would uh, be able to tell you uh, whether you could raise an army whether you can raise an army, whether you, if you say you're over at some shop and you've touched the surface and there is a virus on it, whether you would raise an army that would be there to defend that, defend you from that virus. And those with a weak immune system may not be able to do that. And so that's why today, really, this first part of this presentation is to tell you how to catch, hold, and carry electrons. Now the benefit is it doesn't just help your immune system, but the benefit is if you can catch, carry, and hold more electrons, everything's better. You are more vital. One way, uh, because I never had that stick, I, like I said, I always want a little stick or a probe where I could count your electrons, but I had other ways of measuring how many electrons you were carrying, and that was just to look at your general glow. If you're glowing, that means you're carrying a lot of electrons. Now, there's some of you that I've really seen glow. Some of you, uh, actually, you know, um, somebody's going to really laugh uh, when I, I call out somebody who had maybe wins the prize uh, for the most famous glow at Phuket Cleanse history, and that's Giancarlo. So it's fun that he's sitting right there in the box. So, yeah, but you're surprised to say that. But Giancarlo um, was with us when Holly was with us, and Holly and I, every once in a while, chat, and we laugh because Giancarlo did a very interesting juice cleanse. It was very experimental, and it was one of our trainers that got everybody doing it, and I, I was a bit skeptical of it until I started seeing the customers actually glow. <laughs> and John Carlo was the king of the glow. Like I've actually seen this man glow in the dark. 
And um, yeah, it was, I, it, I'm almost embarrassed to tell you the kind of cleanse it was because like I said, I was very skeptical, but it actually seemed to really work. It was one of our trainers did it, an experimental cleanse, it was an apple juice cleanse. Um, but Giancarlo glowed and they all glowed. They, I mean, I've never seen humans glow this way. Now, I'm not here necessarily to suggest the apple juice cleanse, but to say I have seen humans glow in the dark. Uh, from cleansing. So yes, isn't that funny? I, yeah, I remember everything, Giancarlo. <laughs> so yes, um, yes. So uh, catch, hold, and carry electrons. So yes, your glow. If people tell you you're glowing, you know, that's a good chance that you're carrying a lot of electrons. And it's also good news because then, you know, it's not just a food story. You know, everybody thinks, oh, what do I eat? What do I eat? What do I eat? We all know when we glow is often because we're in love or we're excited or we're passionate about something. So there's many ways to catch electrons. They're just through living, uh, an ex being passionate about something, being in love, feeling love. I see mothers and grandmothers glow when they hold their babies or grandbabies. You know, so there's many ways to, to catch a glow. Um, so that's what I want to focus on though, some of the science of capturing energy. And one of the first things that I would say, if we were gonna talk about capturing electrons, the way we capture electrons, if we wanna look at the big electron, um, cap, the big ways to capture electrons, we look at the things that we, can, we cannot live without for very long. Well, what's the thing we can't live without for very long at all? First of all, it's oxygen. And I suggest that you really, really pay attention to your breathing, there are lots of um, there are lots of YouTube channels and YouTube YouTube's that you can watch or you can find different breathing exercises. Um, one of our team members, Rita, will be sharing with us uh, some of her favorite um, links to uh, breathwork practices, and we will be doing an upcoming um, rebirth breathwork event online. But I'd like you to start just saying, if I can do one thing today, maybe when I get off of this call, is maybe to, to learn some breathing exercises and practice good breathing and practice good breathing posture. But also it's important that you have good air to breathe. And that is one of the things I'm seeing um, when I'm studying the researchers, when they say one thing they'd like to see us do now, it's always surprising to me how air purifier is on the top of our, their list. Because one of the things is that our house, our houses are full of all kinds of bacteria, germs, mold, dust, all kinds of stuff. Our filters from our air conditioning and heaters are full of stuff. So that army that we need to have ready now in case we encounter any kind of virus or any kind of potential bacterial infection, that virus is so busy just dealing with the crap that's in our homes. So one thing you could do right now is just start opening your windows every day and allowing some air circulation to happen. That air circulation will just start clearing some of this debris and dust. If you can get yourself an air purifier, that would be amazing, but that will free up this army. So it's not dealing with all that stuff just so you can breathe in your house. It'll free that army to start working on behalf of your overall immunity. So I see this again on the top of every major researcher's list of things to improve your immune system now. They're saying air purifiers. Of course, if you can get outside now and you can be around trees, where you can get lots of rich oxygen, well, that's of course your best bet. So that's uh, the, that start with the very basics. And you know what I suggest now? Um, just start some quality breathing while you're listening to this conversation. Like start your breathing journey now, work on holding your posture in a good way and widening your, your shoulders so that you have some good space for your diaphragm to widen and open so you can expand your lungs and just breathe slow and controlled and pay attention notice how that will help your focus because i do have a lot of great information to share so having a good breathing practice during this conversation will be good the next way that i suggest and and i'm finding from all the researchers now to improve your immunity is vitamin d and i'm sure as you've been following this journey over the last weeks of doctors coming on and TV and telling us what to do. They're all saying vitamin D, vitamin D. But vitamin D, vitamin D by a pill 
is it inter interesting? It can help you, but does a pill carry electrons? Does it carry electricity? Does it carry energy? So the thing about getting your vitamin D the old fashioned way from the sun, if you have sun available, is that when you get make vitamin D to the skin, you get electrons, lots of electrons with it. And that's what the pill is missing. So if you're saying, oh, I take my vitamin D pill, I don't need to worry about going out in the sun. You're really missing a big part of the story. Vitamin D should come with a lot of energy. It's like a power pack. It's like a battery. It's like an energy pack. And the pills don't have that. So I know many of you are not in areas where you can get an out in this. Well, first of all, you may want to see how much sun you really have access to. Can you make vitamin D now? I would like if one thing you can do when you when um, over the coming days is to learn about this D Minder app. It was created by Harvard University and it was created. It's an app that you can download uh, and it's you can watch a little video on YouTube to see a description of it. But take a look at it because what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to look at your area. And it's going to know exactly where you are in the world. And it's going to take some personal information, your age, um, your, your weight, your uh, skin type, uh, just lots of information from you. And it's going to determine how much vitamin D you can make at given times of the day. So you actually, it will tell you what time to go out in your local area. It's very, very personalized. And you'll hit the start button and it'll tell you how long to stay to make the, the correct amount of vitamin D you need. Uh, so anyway, I'll leave it at that. I'll let you go look at the app yourself, but that will help you really understand how much vitamin D you can make. Um, you know, the more clothes you take off too, when you get in the sun, the more vitamin D that's something you think everybody would know, but I've seen all these people go out in the sun and they just have their face exposed and they don't understand why their vitamin D levels are low. So that's something you will also put into the app. So if you can get sun, then that would be a good tool to see if you're really getting adequate amounts of vitamin D. The second choice, if you can't get vitamin D uh, from the sun, the second choice would be to use a vitamin D lamp. And here's this Sperdy D lamp. Um, there are all different brands of vitamin D lamps. I'm sure in Europe you have different brands. This is an American brand that I have followed um, a lot because medical doctors have always been posting the results they're getting with their patients, that their patients are really, really getting their vitamin D scores up just having one of these lamps in their house. So that's something to check out because still by using a vitamin D lamp, you're still getting energy. You're still making it through the skin and you're getting the energy that you want to have with vitamin D. And last, if you cannot get vitamin D through these ways, of course, then take the supplemental vitamin D. Uh, you can take liposomal vitamin D. This is like an oil, like a vitamin D oil, or you can take vitamin D drops. These two forms of vitamin D are definitely more bioavailable than other forms of vitamin D. Now, here's another thing that it's, it's the one thing that people really miss that we don't really think about how most of human history, we were born on the earth, we slept on the earth, we walked on the earth, we were never disconnected from the earth. Humans were part of the earth. It was almost like the earth was an appendage. And why does that matter? Because the earth is like a, a charging pad. It's like a, it, you actually, we actually pull electrons through our tissues from the earth. So we were always supposed to be on a charging pad, which is the earth, nonstop pulling electrons from the earth. And suddenly, as we've disconnected ourselves completely from the earth, and you might say, well, I take walks. Well, if you're wearing rubber soles, you cannot, you're insulating yourself from the earth. You're not able to get energy from the earth. So I suggest that A, you either buy some natural shoes, like leather shoes with leather soles. I'm not promoting leather. I'm just saying leather shoes with leather soles are natural materials. You could get energy through the earth that way. You could capture a lot of electrons that way. B, um, you could get what's called grounding shoes. So when you get off this call, maybe everybody Google the words grounding shoes. Grounding shoes have copper wires or copper plugs in it. So you can still walk around and pull energy from the earth. The other thing is uh, you can buy little plugs and stick in your shoes and then make them grounded. 
or you can buy a grounding strap like you see that's a little grounding strap so you can type these things in in amazon uh, grounding straps for shoes grounding shoes or you know uh, grounding plugs uh, this is going to make a huge difference it's going to get you know every time you sit on the earth you're pulling in electrons to your system and greatly powering your immunity inflammation will go down it's like a treatment, but it's not a treatment because it was supposed to be with us all the time, 24 hours a day. So it, anytime you can sit on the ground, wear these kind of shoes, you're going to be pulling a lot of electrons. So also another way to get electrons is through water. So water is, allows us to be a better battery. So it's very, very important nowadays to be super hydrated. All the doctors are saying, please stay hydrated. You can get a lot of electrons through water, but our water isn't very healthy these days. If you can get spring water and glass bottles, that would be your best choice. If you're using filtered water, uh, a reverse osmosis filtration system would be the best to have in your house. Or if you're just getting distilled water, if that's all you can get, I'd love you to put it in a blender, see if you can get some liquid minerals at your local health food store or online store, liquid minerals. You can put it in the water by remineralizing the water and putting it in the blender, you are recreating spring water. So you can make a big batch, keep it in your fridge, and that would be a very hydrating water as long as it has minerals in it. So that's something that you, it, it only takes a second to put water in the blender, a little bit of minerals, blend it up, keep it in the fridge and be drinking mineral water all the time. Of course, if you can get spring water in a glass bottle, that would be great. Um, yes. So I just want to summarize that those are some very basics, basics on how do you, how do you power up your immune system? How do you get capture electrons? And as I mentioned, oxygen, sunlight. I mentioned some tools that you could use here. I mentioned grounding and I mentioned good water. These are the basics, basics. And now I'm going to, I'm going to change um, the topic now that this is gonna be more about nourishment and supplementation. And as I mentioned, we're going to talk about longevity science. We're going to talk about how we can reverse our age, how we can turn the clock back. And by doing so, it will give us a more robust immune system. So some of you might've heard about this doctor this year. He's really trending um, in social media. He's doing lots and lots of podcasts and he's getting really popular this year for a good reason. And that he's a Harvard geneticist and his department um, studies the biology of aging. And they set out on a crazy task about 10 years ago to cure aging. Um, and they've been extremely successful. And this year they've been publishing through a book and, and describing in their podcasts uh, their results and how we can all do this at home. So I don't know if you've seen David Sinclair, but I've uh, been following his work for 10 years. And this year I've been following every one of his podcasts and I got his book. And today I'm going to share some of that science and practical tools so that you can start applying it now to turn the clock back. So these are just some fun pictures. Like I said, I've been following him for a long time and he's not only um, not aged in the last 10 years, but he's, he's gotten uh, younger. And this was him 10 years ago when he announced uh, as, at his TED talk he was 40 here, and I think he looks 40. And he announced at his TED Talk that, that, that his department of uh, studying the biology of aging were going to cure aging or have some very good treatments for it and hopefully uh, reverse the clock. That was their big goal, was to reverse the clock. So he announced that 10 years ago at his TED Talk, and I've been following, like I said, through the years, you can maybe see he's not only, he's, it's hard to determine what age he is in any one of these pictures, because he has an age, he's actually aged in reverse. And these are some pictures of him now. And you can see, maybe see he's getting a bit younger. And here's his book. Um, so this is something that you guys can enjoy reading during these weeks coming ahead. And also you can enjoy all these amazing podcasts and you can, you'll have a great time learning from him over the coming weeks, I'm sure. 
Uh, this is just the podcast I enjoyed when he did a lot of, some of you might watch Rich Roll. Rich Roll is a great interviewer, but I like this podcast because I, I've been watching all of his podcasts this year and I swear this year he's continued to get younger every month. And this was a recent one. And I thought, wow, he's almost starting to look like a boy. Um, and I, I would, I think it'd be a fun podcast to watch because he's moving like a boy. His movements are very youthful. His talking is youthful. So I, I've seen him um, get younger in many ways, you know? Uh, so I want to explain the science of what that department did. Let me just take a sip of water here. Um, so here is, <clears throat> as I mentioned, David Sinclair is a geneticist. So their first task was to find a gene that could reverse our age, that could keep us younger, and that can prevent us from aging. And around 1999, 2000, they actually found the gene. They didn't really know what to do with it. It was called the sirtuins gene, sirtuins. They're a group of genes. They found it just because they knew it was there. They didn't know how to turn it on and off. And that's taken a good long time for them to figure out. Then around 20, I would say around 2010 to 2015, they did learn how to turn it on, but they didn't know how to control the volume. They didn't know how to turn it louder. They didn't know how to turn it down. They could just turn it on. It just kind of went off when it went off and um, it, was, it was kind of haphazard, but they did at least found out how to turn it on. Um, they found out that when people are calorie restricted, or doing some sort of fasting, the gene turns on. Now, they weren't very excited about it because they were being sponsored by the drug companies. And that's the last thing the drug companies wanted to hear because the drug companies wanted to make a drug to turn it on and keep it on. And you tell the drug company, well, when people don't eat, that turns it on. The drug company said, what are we gonna do with that? We need to make a drug that turns it on so people will buy it. So. They, they've said, well, gosh, okay, well, then how are we going to figure out what molecules turn it on? Well, let's test every food and every herb on earth and see if there's some kind of molecule that will turn it on so people just don't have to starve themselves to turn it on. And they did that. And you'll be introduced to some of that today because I'm going to share a diet um, using those foods and those herbs that turn a gene on. Uh, so that's super exciting. And, and all these foods are delicious. They're all things you'd like. So I'm going to just show you how to put that together. Uh, so that's good news that they found out that we could, that certain molecules would, um, would turn it on. And they found out that also certain activities will turn it on. They found out that whenever our lives are threatened, say we overheat, Say, imagine we're walking through the desert and we get really hot, or you're walking here in Phuket, Thailand at three o'clock in the afternoon with, well, not walking, imagine you're running at three o'clock in the afternoon and you're sprinting maybe, or you come to one of our hot yoga classes. Those things turn on sirtuins. When you overheat and you're maybe like, if, when you're doing a sauna, when you're doing a sauna, that heat stress turns on the sirtuins. It turns on your longevity gene and makes you younger. So heat stress. Heat stress where you combine some phys physical activity is even better. That's why so many of you guys are addicted to hot yoga because that's the ultimate turn on for the sirtuin genes is heat stress combined with some physical activity. So maybe some of you guys can do that today. So there's heat and of course our beloved ice bath, cold. So you can get some sirtuin activation by taking your cold showers, or if you're in a cold area, going out without a jacket and just experiencing some of that cold. Of course, if you can do an ice bath, that's great, but do what you can to get cold. You know, I've even, somebody, we were chatting here the other day talking about what if we took bathrobes, put them in water, put them in the freezer for a while and put them on. 
<laughs> you know, desperate times we call for desperate measures, but you know what? That would make you cold. That would be a perfect way to simulate an ice bath at home. So you could do that tonight. Just go dunk your bathrobe and then go outside in the cold. That's even better. That's like having an ice bath at Phuket Clams. So that cold stress, the heat stress, like saunas. Now you might say, well, where am I going to get a sauna? And it's, you know, we can't go into public saunas now. Well, I want to suggest to you to maybe you can uh, do it, Google a little bit now if you're playing around on your computer or you can do it later, but you can uh, Google or go to Amazon, type the word portable sauna. There are all these little portable saunas. You might have seen some of them at Phuket Cleanse. There's sauna blankets, there's sauna suits, there's sauna domes, there's box, box saunas you can unpack and fold back up again. There's multiple, multiple portable saunas that are inexpensive on Amazon. So you don't have to go to a public sauna to start doing this heat stress. And of course, if you're in a hot area like we are, you can go outside and do some physical activity and get that heat stress. So I'd love to see you guys if you can get a sauna now, a portable, cheap, inexpensive sauna, I'd love to see you guys doing some saunas now as that will turn on the sirtuins. So I said heat stress. I said cold stress. I said, I did say, I did say calorie restriction, meaning maybe you could have three small meals a day, not enough. That would do it. Maybe you could do some intermittent fasting, wait and have a meal at 2 p.m. That Intermittent fast will turn on the sirtuin um, genes, these longevity genes. And then there's also high intensity training. So high intensity training isn't necessarily going to a, a, a workout and doing a really hard workout. High intensity training to turn on these sirtuins can be getting on a stationary bike and riding as fast as you can until you're completely out of breath. So how do you know you turn on the sirtuins through high intensity exercise that you're, <gasps> you're out of breath? Sometimes you even feel like you're going to vomit. Now, I know it's not popular or for me to say that, but that feeling where you're so out of breath, the body is assuming something's seriously wrong, that you're being chased by a tiger. That kind of out of breathness. You could do a few rounds of that on a stationary bike, full out sprints, getting out of breath. You can do shadow boxing in your living room. You can do sit-ups till you're out of breath. Uh, you could jog in place. There's multiple things you can do. And it's not that you have to do it for a really long time. It can be done for a short time, but it has to be acute. Not chronic, meaning working out all the time. It has to be acute. It has to be acute enough where your body's like, holy crap, I'm being chased by a lion. And it'll turn the sirtuin genes on. So there I've just given you a number of activities that you can do. Um, and I'll just, uh, again, just look at the screen here. So you're going to turn on the sirtuin genes, your longevity genes, by getting into a slightly stressed state. Not, not anxious stress, but the kinds of stress I've talked about. Lack of calories, heat stress, cold stress, high-intensity bursts. Or sometimes uh, extreme sports. I believe lots of surfers, uh, people that participate in sports with some risk, um, like surfing, where they catch a big wave and their heart's pounding, that totally it has that effect of turning on the sirtuin. So if any of you do those kind of sports, that would be interesting. Um, now, I have a sad part of the story to tell you. It's not sad for you because the problem's been resolved. But poor David Sinclair, as I mentioned, he got up and he did that TED Talk in, uh, about 10 years ago in 2010, and he announced his, his uh, Department of, of Aging at, at Harvard was going to cure aging, and the whole world watched. All the scientists of the world watched and watched, and everybody was hopeful. And he announced that they did find molecules that actually turn on sirtuins. So for lazy people that don't want to do heat stress, cold stress, uh, workout stress, lack of calories, or fasting, he said, we've identified a particular model that will turn on the sirtuins so people can be super lazy and still turn on their longevity gene. And some of you may know about that. It's the chemical in red wine called resveratrol. So resveratrol is the active ingredient in red wine. So we've always heard that red wine's good for you. Well, why is it good for you? Because it contains resveratrol. 
Well, the good news is there are lots of foods that contain resveratrol, and I'll talk about some of them later. But red, the, red, the resveratrol from red wine is what they were all excited about. And at that time, resveratrol was really cheap. It was dirt cheap. And then once they announced it turns on your longevity genes, now it's, it's, a, it's a bit more expensive. So they announced to the world and they wrote all kinds of studies that, that, that announced this and the whole world was excited. But the studies couldn't be replicated because there was a hole in it. it, it sometimes the resveratrol would turn it on, but sometimes it wouldn't. Sometimes resveratrol would turn on the, the sirtuin gene in a big way for some mice. And sometimes it, sometimes it didn't turn it on much. And it wasn't, it wasn't controllable. It wasn't predictable. There were just too many holes. It didn't really work. And David Sinclair became the laughing stock of the medical community. He was publicly shamed in scientific circles. I think that was around 2014, something like that. But I never gave up on him. But I even went to an anti-aging medical conference and they publicly shamed him there. I thought it was a tragedy, really. Um, so he, he actually went into hiding a little bit. He got very depressed to be so publicly shamed, but he eventually, as he says, got out of bed and went back to work at the Harvard lab and came back with a gusto to figure out what is this missing link? What is it that we didn't get? We understand that resveratrol can turn on the sirtuin gene, but why is it so unpredictable? Why isn't, what, what do we need? And they found that sirtuins require a fuel, that sirtuins feed off a chemical called NAD. And you can see NAD here in this at the top of the circle. And NAD is a chemical that we produce in abundance when we're young. We also produce NAD in more abundance when we have a lot of electrons. Hence, this electron story uh, is the foundation of this talk, that it's important to constantly be gathering electrons. So, so NAD, unfortunately, is it's only produced by the human body. Now, if you go online and you Google NAD supplement, you will find people trying to sell you NAD, but it doesn't work. It has to be made by the human body. So then they had to figure out, well, what food, what nutrient could we give somebody that would increase their NAD production? And they found a, uh, they found a substance that's called niacin mononucleotide, NMN for short. So NMN is a powdered supplement that you can take daily. You can take one gram of it every day in the morning. You can take it every day in the morning and it will turn on, it will increase your NAD production throughout the day. And then if you take the resveratrol with it, which is this, this purple powder, the purple powder, the resveratrol will turn on the sirtuin but it will only turn it on properly if you have enough NAD. And you can ensure that by taking the NMN. So the dosage is quite easy. It's a gram of resveratrol, which you wanna mix with something fatty. So maybe fatty yogurt, maybe some olive oil, but you have to have something fatty when you take this resveratrol powder. And you can take the NMN at the same time. And that will turn on your longevity genes for the day. Isn't that good news? So next time I see you, we'll all be kids. <laughs> we'll play even harder. So I will continue to, to repeat that protocol. I'll show it to you very specifically in writing, but that's the story. That's the story. So let me, um, mm, but there's other good news. Um, and I will, I'll start talking about some of the other good news, but let me, let's look, let's review this in short. So sirtuin genes pr uh, promote longevity and are fueled by NAD. NAD is a chemical we produce in abundance when we're young. The powder supplement NMN upregulates NAD. You can take NMN one gram plus resveratrol one gram daily with something fatty like yogurt, olive oil, or some sort of fatty food. Your longevity genes, their sirtuins, will be powered on for the day. There are also many foods that turn on the sirtuin genes and they are called cert foods. So this is the exciting part of, um, 
this class today is that to remember when I said, when they had to figure out what are the foods that actually turn on sirtuins? Well, they do find that the resveratrol, any food that has resveratrol in it, will turn on, sirt, will turn on the sirtuin genes. But there's a lot of other foods, day-to-day -day foods and herbs that we eat that will also turn on the sirtuins. They might not turn it on as a big of, in as big of a way as if, say, you did a fast. They might not turn it on in such a big way as if you did some hot stress workout. But at least you will get some sirtuin activation if you eat certain foods. And that's what we're going to go over today. And there are many activities also, oh, I'm, I'm going to read the final number seven. There are many activities that stress the system that also turn on the sirtuin genes. So what I'm going to do is put together a little protocol today for you that will put together a bit of a diet. And we're going to focus a bit on a cleanse because we are Phuket cleanse at the end of the day. So we're going to focus on a bit of a cleanse so you can get that Giancarlo glow in the dark look. <laughs> Um, so we're going to, um, we're going to talk about a diet and we're also going to talk about some activities so that you can bring the Phuket cleanse experience home. So on our website, um, if you go to our website, we have uh, on the homepage, there's an education section and there's an anti-aging course on there so that you can really, you have the time now to go over these things. So I'd say if you want more information and details, you can click on that anti-aging course, but I'm going to show you a few modules from it today. This is the module we're going to talk about, the anti-aging cleanse. So we've put together, this is on that page. So let's take a closer look. So you can see here, I put in an infographic, um, this uh, anti-aging cleanse. Oh, I'm having trouble, I'm having trouble with um, reading with my mouse. I'm trying, I'm trying to move something. Maybe somebody will help me. But let's take a look. Let's start reading. Uh, hopefully you guys can read that. I need to move that down so I can read that. Um, so calorie restriction and hydration. So calorie restriction and hydration, have, like I said, my screen's a little bit small. I'm having trouble reading. You know what? Why don't I give you a moment to just read this yourself? I can be quiet for a moment and you have a good time reading both sides of this infographic. And you don't have to listen to me. Okay, well, I'll just give you a little time to read. So that's a real easy cleanse to put together. And you could do it, you could do it for three days, you could put a whole week together. And what I really like is this would be a really great system reset for you. You'll have really profound rejuvenative effects. And I think many of us could use a bit of a system reset right now. I know many people tell me that they're in their homes and they're not eating the best of food. Uh, it's hard to get a lot of things. So Committing to this at some point, whether it's a day or a week, would be a wonderful system reset. And it's going to power up your immunity. Oh boy. Okay, help. No, I'm still having problems with my mouse. Oh, oh no, okay, this is a little change. Okay, so now if you notice on there, um, I mentioned you know, you could have one meal a day. So I chose the foods that are going to be most empowering to your immune system. And those are, if you're, if you're actually, if you're a meat eater, 
you, it would be your fattiest fish. So your fattiest fish, I think a lot of you know, some of the fattiest fish is salmon, uh, herring, mackerel, anchovies, I believe. And you can always Google, what are the, the fattiest fish? It's those omega-3 fish oils that are really important for you, for you now and always. And why is that? Those omega-3 fish oils are sticky for electrons. The reason everybody says, oh, you gotta eat your fatty fish, oh, you gotta take your fish oils, is fish oils capture electrons and hold them into your cells. So it helps you to be a better electron catcher. And that's why the fattier the fish is the right fish for you right now and always. Now, if you also follow all these doctors out there telling you the most important things to do for your immune system now, they are all saying zinc, 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 take zinc. Well, if you wanna get your zinc, through food, uh, oysters, clams, and mussels are the highest in zinc. So I'm always recommending food first before I recommend supplements. So if you make your main meal of the day with some of these seafoods, you're gonna be doing very well for your immune system. But we also have some other foods in this chart that are also very high in omega-3s. Uh, you see things like even tofu and Brussels sprouts and flax seeds are high in omega-3s. And mushrooms are also um, really going to be wonderful for you now. You can you know, make a big mushroom dish for dinner or you can make mushroom soups when you're cleansing through the day. You could have mushroom soups. Mushrooms are extremely high in vitamin D and in B vitamins. So yes, you can get vitamin D from food also. So lots of doctors are recommending eating as many mushrooms as you can now. So back to, uh, I was mentioning there was an anti-aging course on our website and we have a chapter on the sirtuins. Uh-oh, I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> uh, I must have touched something, okay, help. Just a second, I'm calling for technical help. I must have touched something that, okay, I don't know. I don't know what I touched it. Okay, let's just go to the next. Okay, so here are, is a list of the cert foods. So remember when I said there are lots of foods that activate the sirtuins? These are them. So over the coming weeks, I would love to see you getting more and more of these foods in your diet. Whether you're making juices and soups or main meals. And they're all quite delicious. Of course, you will have access to this presentation and be able to look at all this again. And these are herbs. Some of these you may know, some of them you may not know, um, but I just decided to make a comprehensive list. And what's really exciting for those of you who say, oh my gosh, I don't know how to cook. I don't know how to put this together. I really recommend you get the, you go to the website called the certfooddiet.net. The Cert Food Diet has multiple books and multiple recipes just using cert foods. They have a soup book, a juice book, and they have all kinds of main meals. So this would be a great way for you to get started with cert foods. And here's just some example uh, recipes. Like I said, they have example recipes on their website. Um, one thing I would say that would be important for you now, so you'd say, for example, you see this turmeric chicken and kale salad. I would say, why don't you swap out the, the chicken with a fatty fish or maybe with some mussels or something like that. So they do use turkey and all kinds of, um, different kinds of meat, but at this point I, I mentioned, or you could even put mushrooms in it again. Remember mushrooms would be something good for you to have now due to their vitamin D content and B vitamin content. And I've put some smoothie recipes here. So if you're like, oh God, I, 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 how do I, where do I get started? How can I just put together all of this? And these smoothies are really incredible. These, are, these smoothies were designed by science. 
these smoothies are just to get you started. Whether you want to participate in a cleanse now or not, or if you say, I just want to do one good thing to really replenish my micronutrient deficiencies, these smoothies were designed to do just that, to look at some of the key nutrients that people need now and always to be high functioning, to rejuvenate you. These smoothies have the ingredients and the nutrients that are really going to change you. They're going to, you're going to improve your gut health. And they're actually quite delicious. I know it probably doesn't sound good, all that kale and all that chard and all that spinach. But actually, you know, some of these berries make it taste, they, they taste quite nice. So if you just put these smoothies in your diet as often as possible, you would, you would go really far just with this. And again, I just want to talk about a few more immune, immunity boosting foods that I just want to focus on. So if you are doing the cert food cookbooks, you can again, make sure you're, you're getting some of these critical uh, nutrients into your diet now. Zinc, again, we'll revisit that one more time. Oysters, mussels, clams. Um, lots of people are taking zinc supplements. If you notice you get nauseous, I just wanted to mention a lot of people get nauseous when they take zinc. And it's not a stomach thing because I've actually had it taken IV and I got very sick. There's something, but so I have to take it through my skin. So you can actually buy zinc powder and I put it in the bath or make body scrubs out of it. Uh, but I also sometimes crush up my zinc tablets and make a body scrub by mixing some Epsom salts or salt and some coconut oil and I use it as a body scrub so I can take my zinc through my skin because I, I don't do well taking the zinc supplements. Also, iodine is so important for the immune system now. I really hope all of you guys are eating high iodine rich foods and that would be seaweed. So as much seaweed as you can throw into your soups or your salads or into your meals, the better. Iodine is a very potent immune building nutrient. If you can't get an, you know, the seaweed into your diet, then I really suggest you take nascent iodine, three to five drops, two times a day in two teaspoons of water, sip and allow to run down your throat slowly. So these are very important nutrients. And magnesium. Magnesium, you're going to get through your leafy greens that hopefully you'll be eating up now. But if not, you can have, um, you know, can take magnesium. Nowadays, the doctors are recommending we take magnesium calm powder. There's a lot of magnesium calm powders out there to reduce anxiety and stress. Uh, it keeps you regular. But one of my favorite ways to take magnesium is by putting Epsom salts in the bath and taking Epsom salt baths and body scrubs, also very calming. Magnesium will, is not just really important for your nutrition, but it's important for your anxiety now. And fish oils. I mentioned the fatty fish, but if you don't feel you get enough fatty fish, you could take fish oils. I recommend a brand called Nordic Naturals. That's considered a good brand, but I still recommend you get it through your food. Um, yes. Other foods that are interesting now um, are apple cider vinegar. So apple cider vinegar is going to improve your digestion, but apple cider vinegar is a natural NAD booster. So I recommend you have apple cider vinegar be before each meal to improve your digestion, but also to boost your NAD levels. So maybe it's going to take you a little bit of time to get that NMN from, through the mail, but you can at least start today if you have some apple cider vinegar in the house so you can get it. Tulsi tea is recommended now as an immune building tea. Using coconut oil or hemp oil in your foods or salads. Ginger tea and turmeric tea will be really good for your immune system. Probiotics, sauerkraut, yogurts, and of course our favorite food here at Phuket Cleanse, spirulina and chlorella. Now I wanna move on to the detox side of it because if you choose to participate in this cleanse, in this, this age reversing cleanse, in this longevity cleanse, this cleanse that's gonna turn the clock back, you're gonna to wanna to detox a bit. And most of us, if we're in our 40s or 50s or older, we're carrying a lot of heavy metals. We're carrying mercury, arsenic, um, aluminum, there was a period at Phuket Cleanse, I don't know if any of you were there, it was a very bad period. We used to test everybody's heavy metal levels. What We tested their heavy metal loads. And we only did it honestly for a few weeks because every single person was carrying such a big heavy metal burden that they were panicking. 
what do I do? How do I get it out of me? What do I do? They were panicking. Nobody was having a good time because they saw how much heavy metals they were carrying. So I had to stop doing the test because of the panic. But it's true. We are carrying a lot of heavy metals. And what will happen if we get rid of those metals, everything will function better. Everything. These metals are bogging us down. Nothing runs as well as it could. So it's really important for us to remove these metals. And one easy way is to add zeolite clay. Now, some of you in the, who came to Phuket Cleanse in the early days may remember some of the clays. We used to put clay in all of our water. And one of those clays was zeolite clay. Zeolites pull heavy metals out of the cells. And it's just clay. So I like this particular brand called Zeolite AV because, well, first of all, first of all, uh, I, I want to tell you one more thing about zeolites, why now's the time to do this. So if you do this cleanse, and even if you're not doing cleanse, go ahead and take these zeolites because it'll pull the heavy metals out of your system. But at the same time, zeolites work as viral fusion inhibitors, meaning it doesn't allow a virus to attach to a healthy cell or replicate. It. So viruses, as you know, if we contract, if we are exposed to a virus, we have that incubation period for about five to six or seven days with the particular virus we're all worried about now. And it really replicates and incubates if our immune system isn't strong. But one of the benefits of taking zeolite powders, it prevents the replication of the virus. So if you can get zeolites into your daily protocol now, you'll start lifting and detoxing these heavy metals, but at the same time, you will be preventing the virus from replicating. So all the doctors now are recommending zeolites. So I, I like this brand, um, it, Zeolite AV, because it also has humic minerals in it, and the minerals will support your gut immunity the other thing I like about this brand, it's very, very fine. So it's bioavailable and you can use it. So if you can't, and also the, this company will ship all over the world. And I had a long, if you ever want to go to his website, he's usually online. He'll answer you in the chat or you can pick up the phone and call him. He's a health coach. He answers every call and he will guide you and coach you through the right product. So whether you want zeolites or anything else, and he can explain how it works. So I really love that, that kind of customer service you don't see anymore. And he will ship anywhere in the world. And I confirmed that before this call today. C60. Some of you know, if you read uh, the last newsletters, I am in love with this product called C60. C60 is an olive oil with electrons in it. So remember that story of electrons, how we want to gather as many electrons? Well, what if you could drink olive oil, a spoonful or two, two, spoon, two teaspoonfuls a day of just pure electrons. Well, what would happen is you'd get younger, faster, fitter, stronger quickly. C60 is the most available anti-aging supplement you can get now. It is 270 times more potent than vitamin C. And it is really, it, the first thing you'll notice from the C60 is you're a lot sharper. You notice you speak much more fluid. You have a lot more energy. Um, you're just different and people will notice it. So there's lots of brands out there. Uh, I, would, I would like if you want to know about some brands or suggestions on some quality C60, just send us an email. We're going to give you our email at the end so you can send us an email and we'll share that information. But what I really want is if you could go to our website, to the education section that I've circled here, and look in the immunity section and read the articles about C60. It will blow your mind. So that's your homework, reading those articles about C60 and you're going to get super excited about it and you're going to tell all your friends. You're going to love it. It's very exciting. Yes. And then I mentioned lifestyle. So don't forget, you know, you're going to be on the CERT foods. You're going to start cooking with CERT foods. You're going to be taking your NMN as soon as you can get it. Maybe some resveratrol. <clears throat> but to the best of your ability with whatever options are available for you now, if you could get a portable sauna or go out in the hot, the hot if you're in a hot area, do what you can. High intensity workouts. It doesn't mean that you have to work out too long and all kinds of weightlifting. 
It just means that you need to have acute workouts where you're out of breath. Sunbathing is a good way to do some um, thermogenic adaptation. Ice bathing, if you can, you know, I don't know how you're going to do that now, how you're going to get ice in your bathtub, but you can take a cold shower or maybe some of you guys can go outside and roll in the snow, uh, whatever you have available. Now, I wanted to talk about this workout because remember I said uh, stress. <clears throat> And I'm talking about doing these acute workouts, right? I'm saying do a, you know, maybe a few, several rounds of, of uh, you know, stationary bike sprints or running in place so you're out of breath, you're completely breathless, you're completely winded to turn on the sirtuins. Now, I like that now more than bodybuilding. I like bodybuilding and there is a place for weightlifting. But what's really important at this time is that you're not walking around with sore muscles and fatigue because you've overtrained. You know, when people are at Phuket Cleanse, they always say, oh my God, I'm so sore. Oh. And they think it's really funny. Oh my God, I'm sore, sore, I can barely walk. And it's always a joke. We always like to laugh with our friends when we've been out of the workout game for a while and how sore we are after that first workout. It's not funny right now. Now, it's not funny. Because if you're walking around and you're really, your muscles are really sore and you're fatigued from working out, that front line of the immune system is compromised. All those electrons that need to be backing up your immune system, they need to go and build muscle and repair muscle. So do body weight workouts, maybe some weights, but how do you know if you've done too much? What's the right thing to look for? Your workouts, the next morning, you should feel better than you did the day before. You should feel positive. You should have a glow. You should feel rejuvenated by your workouts, but not overtrained, not sore all over. You might have a little bit of soreness, but just monitor how you feel. We want you to feel vibrant. We want you to glow right now. We don't want your electrons to have to be rebuilding too much muscle now. We want them to stay on the front lines to support your immune system. So... These are just a few more recommendations. We know a lot of people have fallen in love with their computers, phones, or their Netflix. And unfortunately, this is actually compromising the immune system a bit because that white light that is from the, the blue light that's coming from the computer, from the TV, it's, it's very damaging to the immune system. So if you're gonna be on a computer or phone, you know, I, I hope you, you can regulate that and, and not, you know, get outside. I'd rather see you get outside if you're allowed to go outside. Uh, but if you are watching computer or TV or phone, I'd love for you to get these blue blocker glasses. And just by protecting your eyes, you're protecting your immune system. And I'd like you to look for the specifications BPI 550. BPI 550 is not a brand. It's a spec. And it's a spec that indicates total blue blocking, meaning you're trying to block the blue spectrum from your computer, from your phone, from your TV. Now, the good news is, do you see at the bottom here, I have, go to this website called justgetflux.com. That's something you can do the moment you get off the call. You can go to that website and you can download a, a blue blocking kind of feature that's gonna turn your screen amber on your computer and on your phone and on your iPad. And that by turning it amber, it's going to be much better for your immune system. And one other little thing, we know how important it is to keep everything sterilized and we're all walking around with all kinds of cleaners and, and sprays and disinfectants. But I'd love for you guys to consider getting a UVC wand. This is what they're using in all the hospitals now. You can see that picture on the screen that uh, somebody cleaning their keyboard with a UVC one. You can get a bigger one too. So you can clean your counters, you can clean your computer, you can clean your boxes and your plastics. And um, they're, they're covering, they're not using chemicals in the hospital rooms right now. They're using UVC ones because of their e efficacy in absolutely killing viruses, bacteria, you know, they're very, very powerful, and you'll be able to get rid of all those liquids and sprays that you're, you're probably using in abundance now. Yes, and of course, we can inhale and exhale and breathe. So uh, as mentioned, um, we'll be providing you uh, either by email um, over the coming days uh, some suggestions on some YouTube channels or websites where you can get some good breath work activity and start 
doing the, the thing that I said, remember when we started this talk and I said, we got to catch, catch electrons, guys. The number, way to catch electro, number one way to catch electrons is breathing. Breathing is your biggest electron catcher. So, and it costs nothing and you can do it wherever you're at. So I'm really, really excited and motivated for you guys to do some breath work and start learning every, I mean, you'll, you have all the time in the world now to become master breathwork practitioners now. So we'll be sending you information, but you can also just breathe now. So this is the number one thing I'm suggesting, and this will keep us calm when it's so important to stay calm. Ah, so one thing that Rita, who is our breathwork instructor at Phuket Cleanse, she put this together and she said, the first exercise to really look at is awareness. Ask yourself, how am I breathing? Am I holding my breath? Do I have a shallow breath or a perfect breath? So maybe ask yourself that now. Just look at how am I breathing? Ask yourself, how am I breathing? And why don't you take a moment to breathe consciously? Take three, five deep inhales through the nose with longer exhales. So you can just sit there and follow these instructions and just take a pause now just to breathe. And while you breathe, I'm going to have a little cup of green tea, which is, by the way, a sirtuin activating food. <laughs> So you can also contact Rita, who is our breathwork instructor, and ask her to send over some breathwork websites or techniques or information for you. She is amazing. And many of you have met her. And she's going to send you some really good stuff on breathwork. So that will be something that you can spend time doing. And she will be leading um, a rebirthing breathwork uh, event uh, over the coming weeks here on this, in this community. Ah, yes. And I wanted to mention uh, that I am now able to do one-on-one -on -one wellness coaching. And so I am excited because there's a lot to put together here and you all are in different situations or different conditions. And I'm able to do wellness coaching and I'm able to do it on a donation basis. And it's a way for me to give back to my community, reconnect with you. And the donation will help to support Phuket Cleanse while it's closed. So what I would do is I, I have a, a unique way of coaching and that I would work with you on your nutrition or your supplements, diet, health, whatever health issues you may have. But also I'm very excited about combining some meditation and hypnosis with our work so that it's really a mind, body, spirit session and I can work with you in a one-off session. I can work with you in multiple sessions. I can work with you long-term. And hopefully also I will see you someday uh, wherever we are in the future and <laughs> whenever that may be. So I um, just wanted to mention, if you're interested in that, you can write to PC online at Phuket Cleanse and we can talk about how that could look. And that would be exciting for me to reconnect with all of you. So that's it for now. Um, we are going to do a meditation and we're going to take about a 10 minute break and we will be playing some music and I'll lead you through a guided meditation so you might find a place to get comfortable and we will reconvene in 10 minutes. Okay, <clears throat> so this is exciting. We're going to do a meditation. And I'd like you all just to get comfortable in any way you can get comfortable. And I'm going to guide you through it. I just like you to either sit or lie, close your eyes wherever you can. And hopefully you can hear me. We'll have some music on. So wherever you can get comfortable and you close your eyes. We're going to go on a deep journey and do some very interesting work. Now begin, everybody close your eyes.
guys are lying here. Begin to just notice how you're breathing. And begin to notice how your body wants you to breathe. How does your body want you to expand your belly? How does your body want you to open up your chest? How big of an inhale And the exhale, what kind of exhale? Does your body need long, slow? And begin to take in a little bit more Begin to take in a little more air. See if you can go a little bigger with your breath and see if you can go a little bit longer with your exhale. Really nourish your body. Really give your body the electrons it needs. Breathing in deep and letting go whenever the time is right. And with every breath, you are able to pull in electrons from the entire universe, nourishing yourself, and charging your immune system. And if you want more energy for your immune system, Take in more. And with every exhale, let go of all the stress that depletes the immune system. Seeing your cells filling up with light. Seeing yourselves becoming more light filled. Seeing the light expand throughout your body. Knowing that a pill or even a food is not as powerful as your mind and your breath combined to energize your system. Feeling your system becoming more breast. Feeling like a charged battery. 
knowing you have this power every day of your life to nourish your immune system through your breath and mind. I want you to imagine that you're walking in a high place, maybe across a high cliff, maybe across a mountain or a cape. But you're walking in a very high, beautiful place and you can design that place with your mind's eye. Something abundant. I don't know what that is, only you know what spells abundance to you in nature. And you're walking across this high place. And you see some stairs that will take you down, down down to a workshop where you will create. So begin to approach the stairs and know that you're about to take some steps down. And with each descending step, you will become more and more relaxed. Taking that first step, Maybe feeling some wind blowing around you, some breeze, drifting down, down, taking another step, becoming more and more sleepy, more and more relaxed as you go down. And another step going down down, down, drifty, sleepy, relaxed. Maybe you've never been this relaxed before, but we can go deeper, down with the next step. Then take down your final step, reaching the bottom of the stairs and noticing in the distance a little place, whether it's outdoors or indoors, that can be a little workshop where you can create. And walk towards that, knowing that when you get there, you will have a comfortable place to sit. And that will be your creation station. And as you lie there and look into the sky, the sky becomes like a palette of light that you can paint and create on. Where you can decide, design the world the way you want it to be. And 
Now, as you're looking into the sky, you notice that you're able to see pictures pop in like light pictures, like a screen of light and you see a vibrant, healthy, energized, rejuvenated version of you popping into the screen as your mirror image. And you see yourself as this vibrant, healthy version of you and you hold your own hands. And as you hold your hands of this version of you, it's you holding you. You feel that energy and vibrancy in you, that youthful version of you. You feel yourself in that light-filled state. And you take that energy, that feeling of that light-filled state and bring it in to the way you feel now. Programming your genetics to be vibrant and healthy and to feel like a child, that childlike vitality that feels like laughter. And that version of you just disappears in the sky as that is who you are now. And feel, where do you feel that feeling of childlike nature that you feel that laughter in your cheeks like you're about to laugh or in your heart? What does that feeling of being a vibrant child feel like? Where does it sit in you? And once you find that feeling, breathe into it so that you can amplify it and turn it up. And turn it up a little more. Making this your true frequency, your signature frequency, your signature vibration, that childlike joy and laughter that keeps you light. It keeps you in that, on the edge of laughter. Where do you feel it? Hold it, hold that frequency. And once you feel it, I want you to turn it up, feel it more, feel it more until you feel goosebumps, almost a chill. You feel a strong, maybe tears come to your eyes. Turn it up, feel it, feel it, feel it. So you're imprinting it. Once you feel like you're on the verge of tears or you feel chills or you feel that frequency is so strong, that childlikeness, that childlike nature, hold it just a little longer and then just drop it and relax. Knowing that that is your vibration and that is your true nature. And that vibration will keep you healthy.
And just lie there with that knowingness and just rest. And now for your marching orders. That you will know that you have programmed yourself with this frequency and you will stay in touch with this frequency and come back to it and revisit it and carry it the rest of the day. Tomorrow, that frequency of your childlike nature is your true nature and continue to tune in when you're walking, walk as you are that person, that childlike person, talk as that person, feel as that person. And if it ever drifts away, go back to your meditation and revisit that frequency, that feeling, that laughter and hold it, hold it, hold it. So you can reprogram yourself. And that is your immunity. To have the frequency and nature of your childlike self. That is your power. That youthful feeling. Imagine yourself getting up and heading back toward those stairs from where you came. But walking with the energy and enthusiasm that you walked with in your youth. Whether you're bounding up the stairs, jumping or hopping up the stairs, jumping up and down, feeling that childhood excitement that laughter as you're going up the stairs. And with each step up or hop up or jump up, you're further programming yourself, knowing that you're walking away from the session as with that childlike nature. So as you ascend up each step, feeling that feeling stronger, don't take the next step up until you feel that feeling stronger taking one step at the time, feeling that feeling stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. And when you come back to this space and open your eyes, you will be the energy of the youthful you. The funny, silly, crazy, youthful you. And welcome back. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> well, it's very exciting because it's raining. We haven't had rain for uh, four months or five months now. It's been a big drought and it hasn't rained, not even a drop, for about four or five months. And all of a sudden it started pouring. 
So thank you for bringing us rain. Yes, you are a Raymond. <laughs> well, thank you so much, you guys. I'm so happy to be with you. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang up and cry. <laughs> um, it was just... It was just so wonderful and I really look forward to seeing you again and being in this community with you and we're going to do super exciting stuff all the time, I promise. It'll be really fun. So thank you, thank you, thank you everybody. See you soon. Now I'm going to cry. <laughs>Okay, so Mel, we had amazing responses for the first half an hour on the question that you had opened the platform for people to answer um, if they wanted to master something for the next six weeks, what it would be. So a lot of beautiful responses there, which you can read later. But then the first question we got was half an hour into the Zoom chat, and that was from Janie. Janie is asking you, can vitamin D be absorbed through windows? And then what we could see was she had a lot of sunlight in her home. But what she says is, with little outside time due to restrictions, she was curious how else to get this naturally. Yeah. So the teacher in me wants to say, well, what do you think? Have you ever sat near a window and tried to get a suntan? And my guess is probably everybody sat near a window and wondered, hmm, I wonder if I can get a tan. And the question is, did you ever get a tan? No, probably no. I really... I have never met anybody that got a tan through a window. The only way I think the answer would have been yes is, it, is if you ever sat in executive seats at a sports game. Those, those ex executive seats are at the top of a, a sports game, whether it's a football game or soccer. Uh, yeah, that, I do not know why those executive uh, seats don't cut UVB, but most glass, not most, I mean, almost all glass cuts UVB. And the idea is to prevent photo bleaching of our furniture and our rugs. Now, there are some people that are interested in being able to get a tan in their own home, but you would have to find a very special glass, that same glass that they use in the executive boxes at these games. And, and it's very expensive. So you would know if you have that glass because you would have had to special order of it and really look hard for it. So no, you can't. You can't get it through your windows. Thanks, Mel. Can I answer um, that question? Was, that, was there another part to that question? Um, yes, there is, but before that, so that was Janie. Thank you, Janie, for asking that question because I think a lot of people have that question always in mind. Yeah. Um, Paula then asks, what's the minimum exposure to the sun, minutes oh. or hours, to start absorbing? I'm so sorry. I know. I had another part answer to that question. I'm so sorry to interrupt you. Not at all. So this is what's really super interesting is that glass is only designed to cut UVB. But it's not designed to cut infrared, which is amazing because there's no more potent treatment. There's not a better thing you could do for your health on even the best of days than get an infrared treatment. I mean, we know that the biggest thing trending in health now is to do infrared light therapy. Um, but you can get that by getting the morning sun because what color is the sunrise? It's red, that's infrared, that's an infrared treatment. Morning sunrise is an infrared treatment and it's better than those lights you buy. And the end of the day, we have the sunset. It's also an infrared treatment. Now, luckily that penetrates glass. So if you have a window in your house where the morning sun or the evening sun come through, take all your clothes off and sit in front of it and bask in that treatment, that, that is something you really wanna do. Now, if there's nowhere for you to get a morning sunrise or a sunset, and considering how beneficial it is to your entire hormonal panel, to your immunity, to your rejuvenation, you may then want to look up infrared lights. That's like I say, it's really trending now, infrared lights. Uh, I have some brands that I'm I think are good models. You may be able to find similar brands in your home countries. One is Juve. Everybody's really into Juve. So if you type in Juve Infrared Therapy, I love Juve's website because they have lots and lots of articles and lots of education and lots of information, different uses of the product, uh, lots of endorsements from well-known people, well-known doctors, well, just well-known people in the health world, um, the wellness world. And, but, but actually there is a, a brand that I like better than Juve. It's just not so famous. 
uh, it, it's got a better price and it has really good research on it. It's called platinum and they ship all over the world. So A, if you, got, if you can go out and get a real sunrise or sunset, do that. The more skin you expose, the more that infrared light can penetrate your body. If you have to get it through your windows, you can, that's good news. And last but not least, get yourself an infrared light. That's Perfect, it. thank you, Mel. So I'm gonna just repeat Paula's question again. So Paula asks, what's the minimum exposure to the sun, whether minutes or hours, to start absorbing the daily right quantity of vitamin D? So that's why Harvard has made this app because it is so complex. It depends where you are in the world. You know, um, minimum exposure in Thailand or Malaysia is totally different than the minimal exposure in London. So it depends on where you are. It depends on what time of year. It depends on how much clothes you're wearing. It depends on your age. It depends on how much body fat you have. Uh, there's just multiple factors. And because Harvard knows that the most important thing people can be doing is having adequate vi vitamin D levels and it's best com it best comes from the sun. And a Harvard doctor made this amazing app that, that knows where you are in the world. So this is that D-Minder app. Uh, if you download it, you will, it will, it will know your location in the world and it, it, and it will see exactly what the weather is at that given time. And it will ask you lots of personal questions, age, weight, um, how, how much, what clothes you're wearing in the sun. And then it will give you all of that information every time you go out in the sun. And it might say to you, well, this is what you need, but you won't be able to get it for six months. It also say, you, you know, because if you're in vitamin D winter, you may not, not even know you're in vitamin D winter. And it will tell you how many months and days until you'll actually be able to get it in your location. And if that's the case, uh, then it's when you start to look at those vitamin D lamps that I was talking about. Now, tomorrow, I don't know if there's another comment about vitamin D lamps because, or another question about it, because I'd like to go into that a little bit more. I talked about a vitamin D lamp, but I have been doing some research in the last few days on that and I have an update on that. So I don't know if it would be appropriate for me to talk about it now or if it goes with another question. No, no more questions on vitamin D that I have. So go ahead, please. I think everybody would be interested. Okay, so a vitamin D lamp um, is great. Uh, they're not cheap. And some of you may have, may have already looked into it. They're not cheap. Uh, I think it'd be great. But as I was uh, researching with some of the doctors today, I was in a course today and doctors were talking to people who were really needing to get their vitamin D, people that are in, in areas where it's quite, the, the virus is quite serious now and getting vitamin D is quite serious for them. So that's why we spent a lot of time in this class today on it. And basically the doctor was saying, if you're in an acute condition and you need to start using a vitamin D lamp in your home because you're going to have to use it a lot, he would like to see you also have a red light. So what I, what I just mentioned, these red lights, I just mentioned platinum or juke, but you can find your local brand. I'm just giving you some brands that I like, but please find your local infrared brand because I want it to be uh, cost effective for you. But he was saying that he'd like to see you use the red light at the same time as the vitamin D light, because that would actually happen in nature. You wouldn't just have the UVB spectrum uh, when, you, when you're out in the sun, it's not just UVB, it's, it's UVB and it's infrared and there's different colors in the sun at all times. So he was saying he'd like to see people use them both together for a more natural, better result because you're trying to mimic the sun in your house. And I thought that was um, very interesting. So, and you're going to love doing infrared therapy, you're going to feel really good. So uh, that's one thing I wanted to mention. Then the next thing he talked about, because as I mentioned, the vitamin D lamp is expensive. He is telling people, you guys are gonna love this one, to get reptile lights. Now he's been taught, they've been talking about this for a while and I have used reptile lights a lot, but I've been embarrassed to tell everybody about this because I thought everybody's gonna think I'm crazy. Now, Tamar, do you know what a reptile light is? Have you ever had an iguana or a snake or a um, lizard or what, what kind of reptiles do people have? 
iguana snakes, lizards. No, I don't know what you're talking about, Mel. Okay, okay. Which is well, 50% so of the time you talk, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, so that's why it's so interesting. <laughs> well, a lot of people, I mean, I know when I was growing up, when I was living in America, I always knew a lot of people had these kind of reptile animals. Um, I wasn't into it, but I've had family members that, that have it. And I, so if you have a reptile in a aquarium, that's what they, they put them in aquariums or cages. If you have a reptile in an aquarium, you can't have a reptile and just leave it in the house in an aquarium. Reptiles, I mean, I don't, I'm sure, tomorrow you've at least seen a lizard before, right? No, for sure. The <laughs> reptile light is what I don't know, but now I kind of understand what you mean. It's that light they keep over their tanks to keep yeah. them in that natural light. Yes, I know what you're talking about now. When you see lizards, they usually just sit in the sun. That's pretty much all they do is sit in the sun all day. So they absorb their energy through the sun. And so if you were to get one, you can't take the sun away from these guys. That's what they need. So, and you can't just put your average, you know, light from your house over reptile and think they're going to be happy and they're going to live. They need a light that does what sunlight does. So reptiles for, for years and years and years have been basking under their reptile lights. Well, the good thing is they, these reptile lights that you buy at the pet store or you buy online, they come in, they come in UVA and they come in infrared and for a whole reptile lamp kit, you pay like $40. And the doctors are saying they like those almost better than the vitamin D lamps because when you have a reptile, you gotta get it right. You know, you can't fold a reptile, you can't build a fake sun in the rep for a reptile and think it's gonna stay alive if you don't build a correct sun. So that's the thing, there's a lot more accuracy in your reptile kit. It's got the UVA and it's got the the red. It's got everything you need and it's about $40 and it comes with a little bulb and you can just sit under it. And the idea is that you can make vitamin D and you can also gather and capture electrons. So that, that's your other option besides a vitamin D lamp. So I just can't see a classy person like you going out and buying a reptile lamp. You know, I could see you just going for the vitamin D lamp because it's so bizarre. But I've sat under many of a rep, many of reptile lamps in my life, and you do actually feel good. And if you've ever been to a nightclub where they have those black lights, you know, we, we did Gloga at Phuket Cleanse, those black lights, those are basically reptile lights, but they don't have the red light with it. So if you get a reptile light, it comes with two lights. It comes with that black light you'd see at clubs that radiate purple, but it also comes with the infrared light. And you, you can use them either together or you can sit under one for a while and then sit under the other. There you go. That's awesome. So thanks Paula for that question because yeah. I got a lot of information and I'm gonna look up the two options you've mentioned, Mel. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then we have Rose. Rose asks, Mel, can you please include a full detox plan? I was planning on coming over next month, but that's not happening now. I'm eating about eight ice creams a day at the moment and feeling like I need to cleanse now. So what do you have to say to Rose? Well, um, so this probably came early on in the call and I hadn't yet unveiled that full detox plan, plan. but I think this was a pretty, pretty um, specific plan. We gave you an infographic that has all the details of what the cleanse would look like in a given day or a given week even. And we even recommended some supplements to support the cleanse, which was the zeolites. And we also uh, recommended specific foods for immunity. And we even recommended some cookbooks. So if you really didn't know how to put it all together, the cookbooks were there. So I feel it's pretty comprehensive. And I really hope people are on it and doing it and maybe sitting under some reptile lamps at the same time. <laughs> Um, this is more of a comment that came from Janie as well, more than just a question, but it's, it would be lovely to open a discussion out to the group, either pre-talk or post-talk. Yes. So she comments that in Zoom, you can create side rooms and go off into discussions, and it might be nice to have small discussion rooms and topics that you, Mel, can jump in and out of. Yeah. So. Yeah, well, um, we're really, you know, one of the reasons I really wanted to get Zoom is I heard you could do that. And, you know, tomorrow I've said, what if I want to do those rooms. I want to do those breakout rooms. Because as, at the end of the day, I said that this, I really wanted this to be a community and I wanted the community to be active locally. 
um, and start having events and meetups and things like that locally so we can recreate the community in your hometowns. And I think I think it might take a little bit to get going, but I I believe just like Cook at Cleanse, you walk in that first day and you think it looks like everybody knows each other and you feel like the only person that doesn't know what's going on. And day by day two, you're right in the middle and right in the thick of it at the table and you know everything that's going on. I think I think you're going to see the kind of momentum when we create the meetup groups and you're going to cool places and you're having eating because you really are like-minded people. You've all been here. So I, I feel like we'll, we'll get some cool things going, but it's probably going to start in these breakout rooms. And you were the one who had the brilliant idea to create the breakout groups, group rooms by region so that we, we put rooms by region. People can chat a little bit and eventually maybe um, we'll create some meetups when everybody's allowed out and free. Yeah. Awesome. So for everybody who's listening to this, it would be great if when they register, um, they could let us know which region and then we could create the breakout rooms beforehand because that's the way it works in Zoom is to pre-prepare um, the breakout rooms. So we'll explain to people beforehand and make sure those breakout rooms are there. So that's about it in terms of questions now. All the rest were lovely comments where people were doing their own um, teas and stuff to boost their immune system and a lot of dialogue there where people were helping one another with tips. So yeah. I think it's covered, but that's it in terms of the questions that are directed to you. Okay, so thank well, you. thanks so much. I love the questions, really. They're, they're, they're fun, you know? They're really fun and because, because the questions help us go so much deeper. I mean, who would have thought you could get an infrared treatment naked in the privacy of your own home in front of the window. Just hopefully the neighbors aren't walking by <laughs> when you're getting that therapy. And who would have known you, you could have, you know, lay in under a reptile light, rep reptile lights, uh, even though it's middle of winter in London. And so your questions allow me to go deeper into some of these cool things. So just keep asking me crazy questions and I have lots of crazy answers for you. Great. Bye everyone. Thanks again, Mel. Yeah, thank you. Bye, guys. <laughs>